everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and we're having a look at how Google Music, the Google Cloud Music service, uh, looks and feels and acts on an Android smartphone. Uh, you install it from the market like any other app, and you'll go through the settings associated with your account, and we'll have a look at that. Then when you start it up, uh, music that you've put you know, in your cloud, on your computer, uh, and we've looked at that, just scroll up a little bit, look at the other video, shows up here on, on your phone. Uh, it shows up in different ways. You've got a, a recently added or played uh, by artist name, by album name, by song name, playlist, and that includes playlists you've created as well as auto-created ones, uh, and by genre. Uh, and yes, it can get a little messy. It's, you know, um, word to the wise, Take a few minutes and make sure the tags and stuff are right on your songs before you upload them. Uh, you know, there are tools out there for Windows uh, Media Player or iTunes that'll help you do that. Because this can get a mess when you've got thousands of songs to have to go through. Of course, there is a search button and it is a, you know, Google Cloud Music specific search if you hit that button. And that helps a little bit. <clears throat> Let's go back here. But still, the best bet is to try to keep it a little bit orderly when you upload it. There's some settings here we want to look at. Shuffle all. Uh, if I hit that button, it would just, the, the screen I'm looking at, it would randomly play all of these in order. Make available offline. I have a song, uh, you know, selected there. If I tap that, it would download it to my device storage. Uh, it's not encrypted or anything. It is a file that other song, you know, music players can play but it doesn't have the right tag information or anything. It's not a good way to download your music. Use your computer to do that. Offline music only, that's, if I tap that, <clears throat> it only shows songs that have previously been downloaded. You know, my other ones aren't available, so we'll shut that off. And we'll go to the main settings here. Google account, uh, if you have more than one Google account on your phone, that's how you can pick which one you want associated with Google Music. Hide unavailable music. That's like a master switch. That way it only shows songs that are currently available. If you've got bad connectivity or you know watching your data plan, can't stream, you tap that and it'll only show songs that are saved. Cache music. Uh, I like to leave that checked. It helps with buffering. What it does is uh, it starts to download you know, for a few seconds and, and saves a bit stream to your device storage. Then instead of playing it while it's downloading, it plays from that bit stream. Helps with the buffering issues, especially if you have a little bit slower connection. Stream via Wi-Fi only. If you gotta watch your data cap, that's, that's a good way to manage it. Stream high quality. If you don't have to watch your data cap, there you go. You can pull, you know, full 360K uh, MP3 sounds. Refresh, if you've uploaded a bunch of stuff on your computer and it's not showing up yet, hit that button and it'll, it'll re-download all the meta information. Download via Wi-Fi only, that's a little bit tricky. It doesn't mean don't stream music unless you're on Wi-Fi. It means if I've selected a bunch of songs and I want them to be saved or pinned to the device like we saw on the other screen, if I have that checked, it will only do that while I'm on Wi-Fi. That way I can sit on the bus and you know, say, oh, I want to listen to these songs on the way home from work and set it all up. When I get to my office, connect to Wi-Fi, it'll start downloading them. And the download queue, that's where you can tap and look and see what songs are queued to be downloaded. Open source licenses help, music version, that's all self-explanatory. So let's grab a song here. This is a good song, one of my favorites. You can see it's it's pre-buffering there for a second. Now it's playing it. Uh, displays your album art as long as you put it in there correctly. You've got a few different options while you're in the now playing screen. Uh, one of them is sound effects. It's got a little equalizer built in. You can pick presets or you can adjust you know by hand, whichever you like. I don't notice a whole lot of difference, but you know what? pause that as much as I like that song don't notice a whole lot of difference on the phone but then again maybe if you have something with beats audio or you know with a little bit more premium sound maybe you'll notice a bigger difference it is available uh, make instant mix you tap that button 
and it will make a playlist for you based on the song you're listening to. And uh, it's pretty close, you know, a lot of, mm, you know, he heavy metal. It found a bunch of heavy metal to match the heavy metal that's there. So, you know, it's not the smartest thing in the world, but it's it works pretty well. Uh, overall, the Google Music experience is great as long as you, you know, don't mind the streaming aspect. aspect. It's a great way to carry your whole music collection and not have to worry about it taking up space on your SD card. And we wanted to show you guys how it looked. We will talk to you later. I'm out of here.